everyone welcome to uh, this uh, video of hyperconjugation which is also known as baker nathan effect so this name also you should know it is called baker nathan effect so both the names we should be aware of okay and what is hyperconjugation we'll learn what is hyperconjugation in this particular video so hyperconjugation involves basically delocalization of sigma electrons through overlapping of p orbital of a double bond and a sigma orbital of the adjacent single bond so basically you can say it's a sigma electrons overlapping through p orbitals of a double bond and sigma orbitals of adjacent single bond so basically it is a sigma pi kind of structure so three types of hyperconjugation can exist one is sigma of ch bond involved with positive charge conjugation other is sigma of ch bond involved with odd electron conjugation and the third one is sigma of ch bond involved with pi conjugation so these are three varieties we have actually okay the first one sigma ch with plus charge so what is meaning of sigma ch with plus charge examples like ch3 ch2 plus can lie in this case so if you observe ch3 ch2 plus is having the sigma bond and this is having ch2 plus the weekend orbital we have so in this case the support which is uh, existing uh, from here to here actually that is basically considered as sigma ch through positive support so next one is sigma ch odd electron what is sigma ch odd electron take examples like ch3 ch2 and put a radical so in this case also we can draw the structures like this and we can talk about the case of this is a sigma bond and this is a radical position so this is called sigma ch odd electron support next one is sigma ch pi conjugation so in sigma ch pi conjugation what kind of compounds will lie so let's say we draw ch3 ch double bond ch2 so it's a pi bond and this kind of structure will qualify in the scenario of sigma ch double bond which is like this so we can draw certain structures using this particular thing so these supports we have to understand these are all examples of hyperconjugation so what will happen because of it we can say if you remove this h plus nearby is there ch2 double bond ch single bond ch2 minus so this kind of uh, structures we can draw and the same can applicable for all the hydrogens so these h which we can remove they are known as number of hyperconjugation so it's a simple rule number of hyperconjugations you can simply count just go to the alpha position okay alpha means this is the c double bond c so alpha is the next position and count how many h are there so in this structure how many h are there 3h that's why it is 3 alpha h or we can say 3 hyperconjugations more the number of hyperconjugation more the stability of alkene hence we get an alkene having all ch3s here at all these places is much more stable than an alkene having at th three places and it is much more stable than an alkene having at six places like this and it is much more stable than a trans alkene and it is also stable than cis alkene okay and this is more stable than just three alpha hydrogen and it is more stable than zero alpha hydrogen so this is the sequence of stability of alkene in this context we should also learn the concept of reverse hyperconjugation so what is reverse hyperconjugation reverse hyperconjugation right on this line reverse hyperconjugation so definition of reverse conjugation can be defined as it is observed in the cases when we have let's say chlorine ccl3 kind of groups here ccl3 ch double bond ch2 so what can happen if this moves here the cl can leave from here and we can get the structures like cl minus clc double bond cl clc single bond cl double bond ch single bond ch2 plus so we are just keeping them in the close vicinity can i say the same can happen with this chlorine also and this chlorine also so what could be other structures we can say we can say the other chlorine is participating so this is cl minus this chlorine is joined and this is the structure c double bond ch ch2 minus so like that you can draw different structures in this case and all these structures will be satisfying the given condition 
Hence, we can say that this structure, this should be C double bond C here. So, hence we can say that all three chlorines can be removed in such a way. So, in such cases, we can say this is called reverse hyperconjugation system. The same can be applied in the case of a ring also. If a ring is given and you have something like CX3 groups, so you can also talk about reverse hyperconjugation and we can also discuss reverse hyperconjugation possibility. Now, the See, basically, if the question is given as, uh, like, what kind of overlapping it is, it is a sigma pi or sigma uh, pi electron or pi pi, so you should be able to understand that this is all, in the first case, if you talk about the first case, it was sigma CH plus, the second case was sigma CH odd electron, the third case is sigma CH pi conjugation. I hope you understood this complete example, and we can talk about different uh, other structures and stabilities based on these logics. So, please keep liking, subscribing, and sharing, and referring these videos. Thank you very much.